Today, we are going to celebrate an old workhorse, an old buddy, Count A. We're celebrating this today because look, we've got all these sexy tools. Power Query, Power Pivot, we can unpivot, use DAX, we've got XLOOKUP, Dynamic Arrays, but I've noticed with all of these new things in the past few years, I still go back to Count A. Let's get on with the celebration and see how Count A is so powerful. Here's a situation where I've got a job to fill in all of this information. Ezekiel Abernathy, we've got his start date email and ID, but then we get down to Denise Benton, we only have the start date. We've got to get her email and ID. So we've got to fill this in. How big is the job that's ahead of us? We can't get started doing stuff not knowing what the end looks like. Count A. Person in the data set. Turn this into a table. I like the slice thing. Here we go. All right, now we're cooking. Okay, home. Turn this into a table. Grab that blue. All right. How many total records do we have? Equals. Count A. Go here to the first name column. Enter. We've got 381 records here. Now, count A, what does it do? It counts the non-empty cells in a range. The non-empty cells in a range. All right. How many start dates do we have? Equals. Count A. Equals. All right. So we've got 264 start dates. So we've got to find. So count A is telling us the job that's ahead of us. We have to find 117 start dates, 241 email addresses. 232 IDs. Setting it up this way, we can monitor our progress as well. So if I get a list that tells me Delia Ames started 11 December 19, and then Debbie Larson started 4 January 20, the start dates are changing and it's letting me know what my progress is. Now I need to find 115 start dates. One other thing to show you is formula triggers. How many complete records are we starting with? Complete equals count A. And we know we need three pieces of information for a complete record. The start date, email, ID, count A. Open parentheses, count this range, there. Now wrap it in an if. If, open parentheses, all of this is less than three, then stay empty. Otherwise, put a capital C for complete. Enter. Now we need to know how many complete records. We can't use count A because there is technically content in those cells that look blank. So we're going to use count ifs. What's the criteria range? This column. Comma. What's the criteria if it has a capital C? Close parentheses. Enter. That means 85 complete records out of a total of 381. Next example, we want to look at attendance. So of these people and these dates, what is the total possible number of complete 100% attendance? And then what is the actual? Total possible equals count A. I'm going to count the number of days. Close parentheses times count A. The number of people. Close parentheses enter what is the total actual equals count a open parentheses highlight this whole doggone range enter 95 this example i want to fill this grid up with fake data so that maybe i want to teach 
unpivot or do some type of analysis or make graphs off of it or something, but I need to start with some data. Here we go. Equals rand array. Double click there. How many rows of fake data do I need? I'm not going to count that, but I am going to have count A counted. Double click. This is the range. Close parentheses, comma. How many columns? Count A again, open parentheses. Highlight that range. Close it. Comma, minimum two hours volunteered, comma, maximum of seven hours volunteered, comma, we do want integers. I'm going to put a one, close parentheses, enter. There's my fake data. And our last example, we held these parties in 2019. And we want to know how many unique people are in this list and how many people attended just one party. Turn this into a table. That's the first thing. Format as table. I'm going to grab this purple. Okay. Equals unique. The array is this column. Enter. Now there is the list of people who attended at least one party. Now we want a total equals count A, open parentheses, put my cursor here and I need the hashtag symbol so that count A looks at the entire range of data. Hashtag enter. Forty one unique people. Now, how many people attended one party equals unique? Double click. Our array is this column, comma. I want true here, but that's the default. So I'm just going to put another comma and go to the last piece of this argument exactly once. That's what we want. So put a one there. Close parentheses. Enter. These are our one time partiers equals count a one more time. Open parentheses. Click here. We need the hashtag close parentheses. Enter 10 people out of 41 just attended one party. So there is my celebration, my show of appreciation for my buddy count a never let me down. So think about your favorite functions, your pieces from old Excel that still are loyal to you. We can use Power Query and all that other stuff, but don't forget our old friends.